Hey guys, and welcome to another Team Questions with me, Holo. Obviously, you're going to be noticing one thing about this Team Questions, that uh, firstly, I have no webcam on. I'm sorry about that. Um, currently, I am uh, pre-recording a fuck ton of videos. A fuck ton of videos for while I'm in uh, YouTube land. Yes, that's what I meant to say. No, Germany land. It's not actually YouTube land. Um, yeah, I'm going to Germany for like 10 days, and uh, I need a lot of videos pre-recorded while I'm gone. So you guys still get videos while I'm gone, basically, and it's all done. I'm scheduled up, your, up YouTube loading. It's crazy. Technology, man. Technology. So yeah, I've been pre-recording a lot of stuff, and basically I've not slept, so I look... Very haggard, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I look pretty tired. And, uh, yeah, I just... I'm just not up for it, alright? 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 Stop pressuring me, alright? Calm down, alright? Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. Either way, guys, um, it's just a webcam, not on for, like, two episodes. And otherwise, it'll be back as soon as I'm back from Germany. So, yes! Alright, now that's out of the way, there is one other thing that I'd like to mention before we get into the questions, before we start the show properly. And that's uh, a couple of things that have been said. Um, firstly... A couple of people by the name of Lala and Roos have said some really nice things, like, um, I answered a question last time where I was talking about, you know, talking to someone's friend about continuing gaming and their parents thinking gaming is a bad thing entirely and everything in moderation and stuff, and that person came back with a comment saying that, you know, they talked to them and it all worked out and he's still, he's able to play games at least a little bit now and, you know, he can still talk to his friend and he's done a good thing and he's had a positive impact on his life and, you know, that, that made a big impact on me because he was, you know, he's obviously happy about it and grateful and whatnot, but... I was able to answer a question and have a positive impact on someone, and it made a huge difference, and I, it was just wonderful to read, and this, it was similar with this Russ person, they said, um, you know, they were really grateful about their experience talking to parents about gaming, and their parents accepting the gaming and everything in moderation and stuff again. Two people left comments saying that that really helped them, and I just, it made... A lot of things worth it again, you know, I, I, I'm definitely happy with what I do, obviously, and there's so many experiences I've had that have just made it all worth it, but again, just things like that and reaction to things that I've said are just like, you know, it, it warms my, my cold ice heart, it does. Alright, and the other thing was uh, from someone uh, called the Wolf Girl, it was about um, bullying in general, and um, here's something that's awesome, they asked a sort of question about bullying, and I didn't actually have to answer it. Someone responded to them with a very long comment, talking about their personal experiences and advice for them, and they had a conversation, and other people got involved, and it was like, my community got together to help this person, and that is exactly what I want to see, you know, you see someone reaching out and asking for help, and you have a you have help for them, and then you actually step in and do help them. It's such a wonderful thing for me to see. So I want to say great job in the comments, guys. It was really nice to go through the comments on this team questions. And again, you, you guys are awesome. And, you know, thanks so much for watching. And I have the best fucking community. The best fucking community. They're just so kind to each other. And I think I've earned a sip of this tea. All right, guys. Let's begin team questions. Starting with the first question from Super Dusty. Hi, hello. You were talking about WoW and how you met Josh and things like that. I wonder with a new expansion, Warlords of Draenor, are you going to play again or do you play still? I do not play World of Warcraft right now. I played more uh, Mop or Mr. Pandaria a little bit, not much, once with Gubiak and Rage for a little while and played with some viewers and I enjoyed it. But something was missing and my heart wasn't in it. Um, so I've not played it since then. I only played it for like two months. The whole of that two year expansion. I spent about five years plus playing WoW in general over the space of like, you know, I don't mean like I've spent literally 365 days sat in front of a computer playing WoW, but I mean like over the space of five years I consistently played WoW and then I've stopped for many years or a few years since then. And I am really excited by Wallows of Draenor. Yes, I intend to play. I'm going to be playing WoW when Wallows of Draenor comes out. I'm hopefully going to do a bit of raiding. I'm going to join some guild on a server or something and do PvP and such. And I'm, I'm going to try some things that I haven't done before. I am going to make an alliance character and play that character hopefully as well i i am it's scary that because i'm a hard player but you know i want to see both sides of it as well and i'm very interested by the whole thing because it's a lot to do with these amazing characters um in lore that's all about the warcraft universe and warcraft free and all these characters that have interacted with each other and all these things that have happened we're finally able to experience them again but in a different way where it's like what if these characters survived? What if they didn't drink the demon blood? What if Iron Horde was made? And it's just this so much like, for me, as a person who really loves the lore of WoW and Warcraft in general, and really knows it, 
It's kind of like a nerdgasm moment, this whole expansion, and I'm really looking forward to it. So yes, I'm going to play it, really looking forward to it. So there's, there's your answer, bro. Uh, next up is your... Uh, from Evil. Um, hi, hello. So they're talking about Game of Thrones uh, and how it's their favorite TV show and how they really want to read the books that it's based off of. Um, but the thing is, they tend to hate movies based off of books that they like. So they'll read a book and they'll watch the film and they'll hate the movie because the book was just so much better. And that's just how it usually goes. And what I got to say about Game of Thrones and, well, it's, it's known as Song of Ice and Fire, the book series, by the way, um, is is absolutely phenomenal. The TV show itself, they've done an amazing job. The characters look how they should, basically, or pretty damn near close. Now, there are some occasions where it's like, where the fuck is Strong Bellwass? He's a badass. He's not. He's in the this amazingly funny character that's really cool in the book series. That's just not in the TV show for some reason. Um, Dario has like his appearance. He just doesn't look like that, bro. He, he doesn't look like that. All that character wouldn't have done that. There are slight changes with certain characters and. You know, little things like that. I won't, I won't spoil anything, but I must say, I having read all of the Game of Thrones books, or rather Song of Ice and Fire books, so far that are out, because uh, there's like eight, and that's, you know, he's still writing them. Um, and having watched every episode of all the series in the, the, the Game of Thrones series so far, I am very impressed with the TV show. They've done an amazing job. I really enjoy it. And I have read the books, and I really enjoy the TV show. Um, but the thing about the books is that they add so much to your knowledge of the world. There's so much more detail, so many more events. There's, you know, they're trying to cover so much in one hour of a space of 10 episodes, one whole book series. Like, in one of the, like, in fact, a couple of the book series, in fact, there's two books for one part of the story. Like, for book six, it's split into two books. It's that big. There's so much awesome stuff in there, man, that you won't even get to explore or see in the show. Despite the show being amazing and showing all the key important events, you miss a lot by not reading the books. So I really recommend reading the books, but I gotta say, even though I've read the books, I fucking love the TV show as well, so I wouldn't be worried about that. I really recommend it. Good luck with that, Evil. Next is Poppy, or Thera. I was wondering whether you have um, ever become attached to a character in a game, like being very affected by a character's death, or you know, you, when you find less, do you find yourself less emotional about things like that? I don't know, I used to find, like, characters really important to me, like Spyro and, you know, when I was younger playing, like, my first PlayStation 1 games. Obviously, I love Solid Snake from the Metal Gear series. He's, like, my... F that's my favorite, like, game series, and he's, like, my favorite game character. But I don't know. I just kind of experienced the things that happened to those characters. And just thinking about it off the top of my head, I can't really think of any character that's, you know, obviously I can think of things that have happened and I don't want to spoil things randomly for people, but I've never really found myself, like, emotionally attached to a character. I've always thought, you know, hell, I, I you know, I don't want things bad to happen to this character, but it's never, like, been a big effect on me, like, reading a book character or watching a TV show, I guess. I don't know why that is. I suppose in Perfect Dark Zero, one of the first games I played on, well, the first game I played on Xbox 360 when that came out, um... It's like one of the first games that was on Xbox 360 when the Xbox 360 came out. Um, I was really interested by the main character and like the her story with the father and something like something happened to the father and you know I was like shocked by it and you know angry and stuff. But I don't know. I've never found like a character where I've just been like, oh my god, I care so much about them. Obviously, I care about them, but it's never been like an emotional attachment, I guess. But there's an interesting question, Poppy. So there you go. All right, next up we have Doc Tech. Hey, hello. I know that you said uh, in streams and such that you jog. Do you have any advice for someone that's starting out jogging? Yes, yes, I do. Um, I jog every now and then. Not as much as I would like to, so I'm not a pro or anything, so I don't think I am. Um, but I like to keep in shape, and obviously jogging is part of that for me. Um, so yeah, just you, you pick a route or whatever, an area that you understand and you know well, and you just go run. Go run somewhere, man. And how it works for me is... I run, you know, I run, and then I run until I can't run anymore, and I stop running and start walking and catch my breath, and I walk until I fully caught, caught up with my breath, and then I'll run again for as long as I can, and do that again, and rinse and repeat the whole way through. I'll choose, a, like, a, a route that I want to go, and I'll run there, and go all the wherever, whatever, and just test myself, see how much I can run, see how far I can go, how long I can handle, you know, how fast and how slow and stuff, you know, each interval. 
And, uh, you know, that's just like a testing yourself thing. Now, what I really recommend is obviously a lot of people run to music in general. You know, it helps them run, keeps them like pumped to keep going and stuff like that. And that can really help. And I have definitely done that myself. But I, what I find really helps me personally is listening to a really good podcast where, you know, the people are interesting. They're talking about an interesting topic or it's funny or something. And that keeps your mind active. It actually puts your mind in a different place. So you're not focused on running or walking or whatever you're doing. Doing, you're just in a different place. Like when you were listening to music, you're like super pumped with your running, usually if it's pumped music or whatever, or relaxed, so you just whatever. It does feel good to run to music, sure. But I like to mix it up with podcast and music. With the podcast, I try and find something that is, again, interesting and, and immersive, something you just get distracted completely by, whether it's funny or interesting or whatever. And I, I kind of let myself go to this place where I'm just listening to these two people talk to them while I run or while I work out or whatever. And I'm no longer just like running. I, my mind isn't paying attention to me jogging anymore. And I'm just listening to them have this conversation. And after a while, the conversation will end or whatever, whatever the podcast talking about. And I'll be like, holy shit, I just ran so far. And, you know, my body's definitely benefited from that. So that's my advice. You know, pick a route stick to it and, you know, see how far you can go. Then slowly sort of improve the length of the route as you go and try and mix it up, go different places so you don't get bored. Um, but I really do recommend good podcasts. You can download a lot of them for free on iTunes. So I really recommend that. So best of luck, dude. And uh, yeah, running is good for you, man. So good luck. Final question from Revolution Outcast. How do I die? Blah, 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 voice crack. I'm going through puberty, guys. Um, how do I decide between my two greatest passions? I have the money to buy a PC of my own or a drum set. I don't know what I should go with. Help from anyone would be great. Well, uh, Mr. Revolution Outcast, I recommend you go for the one that is a passion to you, you know? Like... Obviously, for me, gaming is a big thing, a big part of my life, and I love gaming, so I need a gaming computer because I, I, that's my job and it's what I love to do, right? Thing is, I'm not you, so I can't tell you what to do. If you think you would prefer to use a better PC and spend more time doing that and ultimately get more out of that as a person, then sure, go with a PC. But bear in mind, the drum set is also, you know, a musical talent, a talent that you can have, something that relaxes you, that can get you away from a screen. Like, all the time, it's important to get away from it. Um, I'm guilty of spending too much time in front of the screen, for sure. Um, you know, you want to have, like, good hobbies that you can talk about um, and have yourself in general and just be something you can turn to. Like, I used to play to the guitar or the piano. I used to be able to just come home and play games on my fucking Xbox or whatever, and then I just... I'd stop and I just want to chill out and I just play some songs on my guitar to myself and it just really calmed me. And obviously playing drums is not quite as calm as that. You know, you got you quite got to, I played drums as well. He's, I did a bit of drumming. Um, it's fucking intense and your arms are going to be aching and shit. But hell, it's kind of like a workout and it's kind of fun to do. So that's also physically good for you. Man, I can't tell you what to do. Man, It's up to you what you want to do and what you prefer. And just bear in mind... Um, you know, you, you can you can go one way or the other, but ultimately in the end, you know, you got life, you got money coming, and you can ultimately do both at the end of the day. What would you rather have sooner? That's just what you got to ask yourself. Um, otherwise, I hope that helps you. And uh, otherwise, guys, I hope that helps anyone listening and whatever. And if you've got a question, guys, please leave that as a comment on this video. That's where I'll look for more questions in the future episodes. And hopefully you'll get featured or whatever. But uh, again, guys, it was heartwarming to see the responses and to the, some of the things that I said and, you know, helping each other the way that you did. It was absolutely wonderful to see. And, you know, it made this show, Teen Questions, really worth doing. So I really want to say thank you for that. And, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and being part of my community, guys. I really fucking appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed your tea if you were drinking it. I'm going to finish off the rest of mine now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. I've been Hollow, you've been you. See you next time.